are you guys planning to travel to the Philippines but in the beginning you have no idea what's this country about and what you can expect then you probably hit the correct video and in this video I'm going to share you my tips my experiences of what happened to me when I spent one month in the Philippines so make yourself feel comfortable sit down and listen to my stories advices and tips hello guys welcome to another video and in this video as you could hear in the beginning we are going to pay attention to the topic of traveling to the philippines well actually i'm currently on a walk i'm trying to find some quiet place out of the city so it can be more comfortable for me and for you hear it properly I don't want to make videos just inside of the house for those who've already seen our videos they know that me and Gwen are mostly doing videos outside and that's what I personally like and I prefer than making a studio inside of the house spending and wasting money to make it look nice the voice will be better in my opinion it's still better to get somewhere outside to the nature and make everything feel and look like natural so let's join me on this walk and we will move on to the topic of today Every activity requires a little warm-up, just like I did right now, but currently we are in the middle of nowhere and we can start discussing. The number one topic on my list is people in the Philippines. People in the Philippines will be first thing you will meet once you will land in the airport and in the couple of first seconds you will start talking with Filipino people you will immediately find out they are super friendly helpful they are very kind even if they don't know you they will treat you like equal but not always <laughs> you are a white person just like me you will find out that Sooner or later people will try to scam you and they will. You really can avoid that in the Philippines because the only thing people can see on you that you are white, you came from the Western countries, Europe or the USA. For me it was like <coughs> I came from Europe but people don't know that and people will still think that you are an American talking about the scams in the Philippines it will meet every foreigner if you are traveling alone you have no idea how much that kind of service you want to buy costs and for example you are trying to ride the public transportation and you will pay 100 100 is still cheap for you as a foreigner but if it's a Filipino citizen, they will pay, for example, 50, the half of the price. You will not know up until you will meet some Filipino citizen, you are traveling with that person, and that time you will find out that you were scammed many, many times. If it's transportation, if it's in the store, if it's in the restaurant, you will be scammed. You have to be ready for that. You are not the one who rules there in that country. Everyone can notice that you are and you look different. They will take the opportunity. <laughs> but still in the end, I did not mind that because that kindness of the Filipino people is amazing. The second thing on my list is transportation in the Philippines. There are actually two ways of transportation in the Philippines 
once you will get out from the airport and you want to transfer to your place of accommodation or anywhere else you can actually use the same way just like you know from Europe or USA taxi, bus everything works the same like here but the other the more funny way is like traveling with jeepneys with motorbikes you are just literally standing on the side of the street and the jeepney which is right this vehicle you can see on the screen after the second world war those jeeps which soldiers used were left in the philippines and people just took it rebuilt it and now up until now they are still using it like a source of public transportation and you can literally just show the thumb that you want to ride the jeepney or the motorbike will stop and you can go and the transportation is like the cheapest you can find if you are comfortable to do or if you prefer those comfortable ways by taxi or by bus you will pay more than on jeepneys and motorbikes <coughs> and the other thing the store like the funny thing i did not know how it works in the philippines i came there and people on the streets the drivers were like this to me i returned it the wave to them I was thinking they just want to say hello, but no. This is the sign for calling the motorbike or the jeepney. Like you want a ride, but I did not want it a ride. And in the same time, there came like two motorbike drivers and two taxi drivers. I was surrounded by them and they were fighting for me, who I will choose to have a ride with. But I really did not need the ride, so I had to say like, sorry guys, I I can just walk, it's okay, I don't need any ride. I was thinking you just want to say hello. So it was a disappointment for them. <coughs> so that's it. Third thing you will meet in the streets of the Philippines are Sari Sari stores. Sari Sari stores are these kind of public shops, little stores, little shops where you can buy literally anything from the daily needs, just like from food, toothpaste, washing soups, shampoos, anything you can anything you can buy there. As I found out, I'm actually not sure if it's open 24/7. But early in the morning there was already a sales lady or a salesman and if I came there about 10 p.m. it was still open so I'm not sure if it's 24-7 or if it has some opening and closing hours but that's really amazing you don't you really don't need to go to the huge mall to buy, to buy things you need those sari sari stores are literally every any corner so if you are missing something, you can really get it easily. Beside those Sari Sari stores, the fourth thing I want to talk about is street food. You can find the little restaurants as well right beside the streets. And unexpectedly for me, you can, on those street restaurants you can get much more better meals than if you would choose to eat in those fancy restaurants it literally looks like this you can see in the picture you are really you are sitting on the plastic chair in front of the plastic table and eating the foods which is mostly prepared on on a fire it's like a barbecue it's really delicious in my opinion you can never make a mistake with choosing a foods you will come there they will be offering you foods you've never heard about but no worry guys everything is delicious except one thing it's called balut it is and duck egg 
but the little duck is still inside of the egg and the whole egg is boiled then you will crack it open it and it's still half of that is already looking like an egg but the half of that already you can see a head of the duck and I think it was not my cup of tea and it's still not and I I'm sure it will never be <laughs> because of that I came there from the Czech Republic as a Czech citizen the the thing I was very interested about was the pubs and how it works in the pubs in the Philippines so Gwen really took me to different kind of pubs to experience how it works here what kind of drinks they have I was surprised and disappointed that they don't have the kind of beer just like here in the Philippines. They only have a bottled beers. So you can just buy a bottle, then you would pour it by yourself to the glass, which was still okay. Literally amazing thing, which was the first time I could see you can buy a glass of beer with the amount of one liter. It's a huge bottle that's that was the best purchase i've made in the philippines and not once not once even in one evening <laughs> but after i bought that there were of course other people filipinos sitting in the pub they were looking at me like weirdly what am i doing if i'm going to drink that one bottle by myself like of course i did i drank that by myself then Gwen explained me how it works in the Philippines. You are a group of men, for example, you and your three friends, you will go to the pub. All of you will just order that one bottle and you are sharing that one bottle up until you will finish that and then you will buy another one. Well, Jacob was able to finish it by himself and then purchase another one. I don't care what they were thinking about me. But that's like who I am and where I came from. But still, the pubs in the Philippines are very interesting. Very nice activity they do is like singing karaoke. I tried as well, even if I'm not a singer. I had to sing a karaoke so I can fit into that society. But still, the other people in the pub did not like my singing. So I just finished one or two songs and then I transferred the microphone to other people I didn't want to ruin <coughs> their session in the pub but still it was nice experience another thing on my list of impressions in the Philippines was huge amount of usage plastic plastic bags plastic wraps anything was wrapped in the plastic bag even if you are going to the mall for the groceries i was having my own backpack that i will put all those things to the backpack but still the cashier put all those things into separate plastic bags and then i put it to my backpack even i asked them i don't need the plastic that's their rule they have to so i just respected that but the funny story what what happened to me that time when i was in the philippines i was still smoking cigarettes an amazing thing which is still working in the Philippines you will just go to the Sari Sari store and you can purchase just one piece of cigarette and in front of me there was a man ordering coca-cola a bottle of coca-cola little bottle made of glass and the strange thing like the cashier was immediately opening the bottle so it was strange for me if that person wants to drink that immediately but it was not because of that the cashier opened the bottle then took the plastic bag and poured that coca-cola into the plastic bag then they put the straw and the person who bought it was drinking coca-cola from the plastic bag with a straw and i was just standing there i really did not believe and did not understood what happened that time but that's how it works in the philippines for example, here in Europe, once you will buy a bottle of Coca-Cola or a bottle of beer and you want to bring it with you, you will pay extra for that bottle 
And once you will finish that, you can, and you have at home, for example, 20 of those bottles, you will just come to the mall and you can return all these bottles. And for example, you will get 50 cents from that bottle back. Which brings me to the idea of business in the Philippines. If you would come there and make a business like that, that you want to return empty bottles from beer and Coca-Cola, literally everywhere around the villages there are those bottles laying just on the ground like a garbage. If you would come there, pick all those bottles, return all those bottles for, let's say, I don't know, five pesos, that's going to be great business in the Philippines for you. Number seven topic on my list is called nature. After you will land in the Philippines, you will probably be still in the city, but once you will get out of the city, you are really going to be surprised and very impressed of the nature. Even if it's the huge beaches with beautiful palms and the sea, like once you are snorkeling, you will see variety of kinds of fish and corals. Everything is alive under the sea. And on the other hand, if you are still on the ground, going to the provinces, the forests, it's more like not forest, but like a jungle, the mountains, all the views are amazing. Once you have time, don't hesitate to visit one of those highest mountains on that kind of island you are currently residing and you will really not regret the views what I can say the nature beauty of the Philippines can no one can no other country beat maybe it can but for me it's still number one the another thing on my list is food and cuisine the first thing I want to warn you about is be aware of that if you are planning to go to the Philippines you are going to gain on your weight. There is no way that you would choose going to the Philippines for some kind of dieting and cutting yourself. If you are a bodybuilder and planning to do some bulking, go to the Philippines 100% sure that you will gain those muscles, that mass you want to. Mostly the foods which are eaten in the Philippines are made of chicken, pork, but you can find a beef as well rarely. And always in common is foods with rice and vegetables. But rice is the number one in the Philippines. The carbs from rice are very valuable source. Like Filipinos say rice is life, but what I was impressed and what was strange for me, for example, once we were eating spaghetti or we knew that we are going to eat spaghetti and I was like, finally amazing, which is quite common between Philippines and Europe, but they gave me spaghetti with tomato sauce and meat but as well in the same time they gave me rice and I was asking like what's the rice for and yeah you have to eat everything with rice so you had like double, por double portion of carbs spaghetti made of wheat and rice and other carbs I spent in the Philippines just one month after I came home back to the Czech Republic and I put myself on the weight scale I was about six kilos heavier so the rule I already set up for myself before going to the Philippines is yes, I can eat anything there but I should like avoid eating rice or else I will be like obese and that's not going to ever happen. Another thing which came on my mind was like the electricity wires in the Philippines and with that I can I can get back to the previous topic with spaghetti. <laughs> To make you understand, electricity in the Philippines will remind you of spaghetti. This is the picture of like electricity structure above the streets and this is literally crazy. I, I really did not understood why it's that way, why they still keep making the electricity this complicated and still this way. 
Sometimes it was like quite dangerous and I did not know. We were walking with Gwen along the street and there was some kind of rope hanging from the top and I was like walking around and then what's that? And I was really trying to catch that and take a look but then Gwen stopped me like what are you doing you crazy? It's electricity and I... It really did not come on my mind like it could be electricity. I was that stupid that moment. I could be really electrified with I don't know how huge amount of voltage so <laughs> I'm lucky that I did not grab that wire but that's how crazy the electricity structure is in the Philippines maybe it will change in the future maybe once the electricity will be driven under the ground which would be better and I guess and I would say safer but Philippines is still in the progress of growing and maybe we can expect that in the future another thing guys which you should be aware of is the water and generally water for drinking a tap water in the Philippines is not drinkable is not drinkable but once we were living in our condo in the Philippines, we were using the tub water for like washing dishes, brushing our teeth, washing the meals or the ingredients we are, we were preparing the meals from, that's okay still. But I would really not recommend drinking the tub water. And how it works in the Philippines is that they have those water stations and in those water stations you can buy a gallon of water in this kind of blue barrels and that's what you use just for drinking of course you can use it for anything else but this kind of water is a little bit more expensive than the tap water good to know that good to know this information so you can avoid any stomach issues and any other issues and diseases it could cause you so remember tap water is not for drinking in the Philippines another thing which was really amazing for me are public markets in the Philippines which is like a place with so many vendors and each vendor can be selling the different kind of goods it can be from foods meat eggs up until up to your daily needs you can find there literally anything but still for me it's better than the some shopping center some mall because what i would say If there was a sales lady selling vegetables, I could say those vegetables could really come from her garden, from her garden or from their production, then going to the mall where all those products in the mall are mostly delivered from other country or from somewhere. And in those public markets, not everything but with most of the things you can be sure that it really came from the philippines you can see guys how nice and peaceful it was when i was walking in the forest i actually did not know where i am going maybe i made some kind of circle i've never been on that place but now i'm back in the city and the noise around me is horrible and i know you can all hear those and it's interruptive so I have to find some quiet place another thing I want to discuss about the Philippines is like of course you are going to travel to the Philippines and of course you need to have some space you want to stay accommodation is very affordable in the Philippines you can rent the whole condo condo unit which what I did with Gwen we had like uh, one huge room kitchen and bedroom kitchen and bed kitchen and bedroom connected and we paid that time 20,000 pesos which is still nice 
right now we are living here in Czech we are renting our our room we are paying the same like 20,000 pesos I would say this room in Czech Republic is better and bigger but in the Philippines we were staying in the center of the city and in the centers of the city the prices are always higher but even if you are not planning to stay in the city you can really find a good place to stay through Airbnb you can stay living even in the family once it happened to us with Gwen we were looking for a weekend vacation we find a room for rent which one old lady was renting we were staying in her house we were bonding with her together it was really nice so accommodation is really not a problem you can find those super luxurious resorts along the beach which is really nice but even if you want to save more and you don't care about the accommodation you came there for the fun and experience or for traveling you can just stay in the very cheap little rooms and the prices are very low the another thing I did not like about the Philippines is the pollution you can literally see the garbage and litter everywhere around the ground I don't say Filipinos are like dirty people but I would say it's the lack of government or the, or the leaders of the city they don't provide enough garbage bins and that's always the laziness of the people once you don't have the garbage bin close to you you will just throw the garbage anywhere beside the streets behind their house or what's horrible was the story what Gwen was telling me just their neighbors the house right next to Gwen's house their garbage but they did not have garbage bin so just, they just threw the garbage over the fence to another property so that's how it works in the Philippines <laughs> if the neighbor would do that here in Europe the next morning that neighbor will be getting up with no teeth literally but the pollution is really horrible thing the Philippines such an amazing beautiful country beautiful nature and you are walking through that nature and the pieces of plastic and bottles are everywhere that's one of those negative things about the Philippines and slowly we are reaching to the end of my list of topics right now we are going to talk about fun and the vibes there is like a quote they say about the Philippines more fun is in the Philippines <laughs> which I can say is true once I came to the Philippines my mood changed I was feeling like happier everything but it's because of that it was my first time and literally the atmosphere in the Philippines is not that depressive just like here in Europe what I can say the poverty is the huge thing in the Philippines so many people are living in a huge poverty in the Philippines uh, literally there is one little house inside of that house is living 10 members of the family the house has broken roof the water is spilling inside and that's that's what made me sad once I was there in the Philippines and you can see that true color in the Philippines once you are going to Google what the Philippines are about you can only see those beautiful beaches, amazing food, those festivals, of course everything of that looks amazing and that's one of those things which will convince you to visit the Philippines 
but don't expect everything is that pink how it looks like on the social media once you will be there once you will see the status of the philippines you will be surprised <clears throat> you will be disappointed as well because you did not expect something like that but that's the reality of the philippines i cannot say I cannot say whose mistake is that but that's how it works but that's not what I want to talk about yeah the poverty is there but still even if the family is poor they don't have beautiful house they don't have cars they don't have those properties they are still happy they are still enjoying life that's something what really cannot happen here in Europe people in Europe we are really materialistic people we care about money we want more money we want more money once we have money we buy cars we have buy houses and once we have all those things houses cars properties phones we are still not happy <laughs> we still don't have enough money ruins character that's the general rule i cannot say it the money influence everyone but i know many people who became rich and their characters changed a lot it's like a huge paradox when you have nothing you are happier you are more happy than once you have everything i hope you understood that guys and here we are in the end of my impressions my tips and advices so to summarize all of those things i was talking about and my and about my stay in the philippines i've spent there one month it was literally exactly 30 days i can say i enjoyed that stay i absolutely want to came back to the philippines which is our plan for the next year with gwen we are going back to the Philippines but with one difference we are not planning to leave the Philippines we are planning to stay in the Philippines as long as we can because right now we are here in Europe in the Czech Republic living here and already right now we can say the life will be good here for us we both can get a good job if we would decide to get some property we also can manage that we can set a family here as well but still even you have everything here it doesn't seem that we are happy here that's why next year we want to travel to the philippines and try the life there <coughs> maybe it will work maybe it will not nobody can say right now also that one month in the philippines i cannot say if it's good country for living gwen can say that of course because she came from that country but i cannot but i'm willing and ready to try that of course it will be hard for me to experience the culture shock if some people can really say after spending in the other country one month and they can immediately say oh yeah i can really imagine my life here that's good i really cannot say that but in the end traveling to the philippines is really worth worth of it everyone can find there those things what they love if you love like if you like the sea the diving so many opportunities to do that there if you like hiking the nature the same if you are a foodie person there is no better place to go to enjoy the foods if you like if you are traveling to meet the new people the philippines is the best place because everyone is easily approachable if they will want to talk with you they all want to scam you as well but still 
the vibes in the Philippines the vibes in the Philippines will not make you regret of visiting and here we are guys we are finally in the end of this video i know it was quite long but i was trying to include all those things all those experiences i had way back then in the philippines i believe i helped you with decision if you will buy the tickets to the philippines right now or tomorrow but for sure you will buy those tickets and you want to visit that amazing country Thank you guys for watching this video, if you like hit the like and subscribe button, it will really help us. We always appreciate all your support with Gwen. If you are interested in more, hit right to our channel, you will find there much more videos of ours. Take care always and see you in the next video.